One Orlando community is just weeks away from driverless shuttles hitting the road. Small buses will be traveling on designated routes. Yeah, but as News 6's Clay Lapard explains, before it can begin in the Lake Nona area, first responders need to be ready in case of an emergency. Lake Nona is kind of our smart city hub. The future is almost here. Well, so this is full autonomous. BEEP is preparing to launch two self-driving electric shuttles that will make stops throughout Lake Nona, completely autonomous, almost. We'll always have an attendant on the uh, shuttle that's able to do anything that would need to be done from a manual operation perspective. The shuttles can top out at 16 miles per hour and will travel on a fixed route throughout the 17 square mile community. By pressing the arrow up, you will accelerate this. With their hands on the wheel, or in this case, an actual Xbox controller, first responders must become familiar with the shuttles just in case. Training our firefighters how to control these vehicles should they need to move them out of the way, open doors, close doors, cut power. Um, all the things that we might have to do should something happen. One of the purposes of this demonstration is for first responders to get a vibe of what it's like to be behind the wheel and to see how quickly the shuttle can stop. Ahead. Embracing what has become a quickly evolving landscape. <laughs> this is going to be a little bit of a, a different challenge for us. There's no arguing that the technology itself can respond quicker than a typical human driver. Expect to see and hear. Beep shuttles on the road a little later than initially planned, now slated for sometime this summer. In Lake Nona, Clay Lapard getting results news six.